we see a number of uh, technological trends which will impact the media environment severely. Uh, we can summarize them actually in, in about five, five key topics. Uh, topic number one is the transition in media creation as well as distribution and the home usage to IP. IP networks will allow us to be much more flexible in content production. We can share content quicker, anytime, anywhere when a consumer wants. That, that is a key aspect. Second to that is to run actually a lot of processes into the cloud. Uh, most of all, in, in, recent, in the recent months and year, it was mentioned that artificial intelligence, which is a key driver for new technologies and tools which we're going to use, they utilize the cloud. Um, the question of course is, since the big cloud providers come predominantly from the West Coast, are we as public service broadcasters or in Europe at the mercy of these providers? So questions need to be asked whether we can not better compete and build our own systems utilizing European cloud systems, ut utilizing also European um, know-how in terms of building artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine, machine learning, technologies, tools and algorithms, that is crucial. That is crucial certainly also when we generate, for example, news. To what extent will a robot, will a machine learning algorithm support journalists in news generating? Can we trust the information which is generated automatically um, or do we have to have other measures? So this is a very important uh, trend, example number one, which we have to consider. Um, second to that is that uh, consumers are much more interested in immersive content. Augmented reality, for example, seem to be on the rise. But what does it mean to be augmented reality? We have uh, statistics, we have data information, we have video audio content, and this is augmented with additional new information. Um, the difficulty is now, what you have identified is, what is good storytelling? in these terms. Technologies are, are appearing on smartphones, uh, a new type of glasses will be developed which is much more lightweight compared to the HoloLens um, and they allow that from the technology point of view we arrive. Uh, but where are we with storytelling? And how can also public service broadcasters, media companies in general, utilize this technology um, in, in a way to create value, uh, value in information for consumers? Um, um, a third very, very important um, uh, technology is 5G, which actually is a new type of telecommunication um, network. It, it allows in business to business, so in contribution applications as well as in business to consumers, um, a full set of new applications. Vehicles will be able to communicate each other. Um, we will be able to control and have much more bandwidth. We have a completely new type of experience what we can deliver uh, to the consumer by means of this telecommunication technology. Uh, it is important, however, that media companies, the broadcasters, speak up now with their requirements because standardization as we speak is actually occurring. Um, the Internet of Things, as it is called, uh, will play an important factor too. This is our next example, what I would like to talk about, but it's less the Internet of Things. I think it is the Internet of a new media experience. Imagine all the connected devices in your home environment. Um, predominant example is Alexa. Yeah? You have all of, all of a sudden digital assistances which can understand what you say. What are the new applications, what media companies can use in all of these connected devices? This is an important uh, force element of our considerations. Uh, and then, of course, customized content as the last example. Uh, customized content means that you provide the content adequate to the end device. Imagine you have a big living room screen, you want to have a very immersive experience, uh, perhaps with object-based audio video. Um, you're on the road with a smartphone, but you also want to have adequate content, perhaps a short form content. Um, you are on a virtual reality set, augmented reality set. You want to have, again, a different type of content. And customization is important, but it should not be manual. It should be prepared automatically again with IP cloud-based workflows in, in, in a very efficient manner, otherwise media companies, broadcasters cannot uh, afford this type of, of, of customization. And this will finally also uh, have a new dimension of advertisement. Advertisement will be very much personalized and um, personalization, by the way, will not only focus on nonlinear websites or recommendation engines, um, we predict that very soon 
personalization of content will also be possible for live events and live channels. So in a nutshell, five big trends, and they're not the only ones, these are examples which allow no opportunities for innovation. And I think with our group in Media Road and other groups uh, collaborating in innovation and developments, we are on the right track to keep Europe um, ahead and competitive to the rest of the world, which is quite important then when you consider that Europe has a huge creative sector. Um, it would be a shame if you don't use the opportunity of bringing advanced technologies, know-how from universities, know-how from the industry, creativity together to compete.